okay so let's continue with this question um, question 11 C part 4 now explain why the matrix product AB is not possible all right here if you multiply A by B if you notice the num is row by a column but the number of elements in the row right and the number of elements in the column are different so you wouldn't be able to multiply them because when you multiply the two elements in the row then you have one left over and you have nothing to multiply it so basically what would happen if you try you would have negative 1 by negative 3 good plus 0 by 1 good but then you've run out of elements in the rows and you have the 4 you don't have anything to multiply the 4 by so basically what you would say is that the number of elements in the row and the number of elements in the column are different so you don't have enough row elements to multiply all the column elements so you wouldn't um, be able to multiply them then it says without calculating state the order of the product BA all right BA if you should multiply B by A let me just rewrite these to make it clearer B is negative 3 2 1 1 4 6 here and A is minus 1 0 3 2 right now what would happen if you multiply these you have two rows in B on the left two elements I mean in the rows on the left and you have two elements in the columns on the right so you would expect to get a 2 by 3 matrix like this two, 3 by 2 I should say 3 rows 2 columns alright now let's just see what would happen not necessarily multiplying them negative 3 by 1 plus 2 by 3 that gives you this good row 1 by column 1 row 1 by column 2 would be minus 3 by 0 plus 2 by 2 and it gives you this number here then 1 by negative 1 plus 1 by 3 would give you this number here you could multiply it out um, it would be nice if you would do it as an exercise but I won't actually write the numbers down multiply it out as practice right but the exam question says without calculating all right so continuing so you have minus 1 by 0 plus 2 by 1 will give you another number here then you have 4 by negative 1 plus 6 by 3 will give you this number here and 4 by 0 plus 6 by 2 will give you this number here so you end up with a 3 by 2 matrix 3 columns a 2 rows I mean 3 rows by 2 columns just like this one the first uh, matrix one on the left three rows and two columns that's what you would do all right but what would be sufficient for the exam is that you just take the order it will be three by two but i wanted to explain it in a bit more detail here for you all right it says uh, total marks total 15 marks then the next thing is end of test so for this paper this is the end of it all i'll see you next time with another paper